Welcome to yet again another video. Today we are going to make a video which has been requested by a viewer. Crit chance versus crit damage. To start off you need to know that crit chance has a cap which is 60%. Crit damage does not have a cap. I'm not going to show you a perfect balance of crit chance versus crit damage since this is very situational. For example if you have a squad with a pulse orientated player in there which which is actually capable of giving you 40% crit chance. This is pretty close to the maximum amount of crit chance. This would render any crit chance more than 20% irrelevant. And since these days the SMGs roll with about 20% crit chance, it makes it kind of obsolete. So I'd recommend to not focus on crit chance at all. So it's not going to be a versus video because here's the thing, focus on crit damage. However, this pulses of course a situational factor since, well, you're not going to be running with that squad mate all of the time and maybe the other person that is using pulse doesn't have the full crit chance build. So, you know, it's a situational thing, but the base value of a pulse crit chance is 12.8%. This means someone that's using a pulse that does not have skill power already gives you 12.8%. This is quite a lot. So someone with about 200,000 skill power would give you 25%. That being said, it's quite easy to get a decent pulse. So I'd recommend to not build more than 30% crit chance. And if you're really deciding to play by yourself then of course make a separate build for that because if you stack 60% crit chance and then you run in a squad where there's a good pulse then you're just wasting a lot of your stats. It is very important that you do not exceed the 60% crit chance because it's just a waste. It's just a terrible waste and don't do it. Crit damage however is not limited. Well it's limited by how much you can get. So let's take a look at where you can get crit damage. You can find 15% on the weapon talent Deadly. And then there's a bunch to obtain through weapon mods. For every slot there is a good option. For the scope the best crit damage comes from the ProRed dot sight. And for the big slots you can use the C79 scope. They both give up to 20.5% crit damage. On the grip you can choose between either the short or the small grip, which also give you 20.5%. On the magazine there's not really a pick that can give you this amount, however all of them can give you up to 4%, so I'd recommend to go with the extended magazine since this has just always been the best pick. For the muscle there's a bunch of options. On the small slot you can fit the loud vent brake. And on the large, you can fit either the large suppressor or the SR7 suppressor. These all give up to 20.5% crit damage. Now, if you fit all of these, you can actually get up to 10.5% crit chance along with it. However, don't bother. I'm just saying this could happen on like a second roll on, on these pieces. So if you'd add all this up, you'd be able to get about 90% crit damage and about 30% crit chance, assuming you've picked an SMG, which gives you about 20% crit chance as well. This is only the weapon. Now let's look at the gear. For gear, there's not really a gear set bonus that you want for crit, so you, I'd recommend going for high-end pieces, so the yellow pieces. Because there are some decent gear talents that can give you some crit chance and damage. As major and minor attribute rolls, you can actually get crit chance on the mask, gloves and holster. However, on the gloves you are very likely to choose between chance and damage since there's a few good rolls on the gloves. I'd definitely recommend damage. The mask and holster both can give you up to 4% crit chance, but then again, if you can get something else, I'd recommend getting something else. For crit damage you can roll some on the backpack, 
gloves and on the knee pads. With perfect rolls, this can get you about 35% crit damage. Adding this to your already acquired 90% crit damage adds up to 125%. Now that we've looked at the gear, the weapons and the mods, these are the numbers that roll out. About 40% crit chance and 125% crit damage. This is without a pulse. Now you see, you got 40% without prioritizing on crit chance. So don't bother too much. You don't really need it. Anyone with about 200,000 skill power is going to make you cap. So don't bother. The conclusion of these numbers are that you wouldn't really want to exceed the 30% crit chance at all. The amount of variables that can make you go over the 60% are just too big. So prioritize crit damage over crit chance. Maybe even just ignore crit chance overall. For those of you interested, I'm going to list some talents that benefit off crit or give you some more crit chance. Adapt actually gives you more crit chance when using a skill. So if you are the one using the pulse, this is not a bad pick. Since then, you can just ignore crit chance after this. Then there's decisive, which makes killing a target guarantee the next hit to be a crit. Then, then there is fierce, which just increases crit chance a little bit by 5%. Then there's hurried, which actually reduces your reload speed by 10% for every crit. This goes down all the way to one second. So any weapon that has more than one second reload time benefits from this. However, if you're if you're on 1.6 and you just reduce it to one, it's not such a big deal. Then there is proficient which makes the first shot out of combat have a 50% bonus crit. Note that this can actually exceed the 60% cap. This is most effective for the one-shot sniper builds that didn't necessarily build much crit yet. Then there is self-preserved, which is really interesting for the D3 FNC crit builds, since you heal 3% of the damage dealt by every crit. This is really good for self-sustaining, hence the name self-preserved. And then there is Vicious, which increases the crit chance when you have more than two segments of health by 10%. And we have Trained, which decreases the signature skill cooldown by 0.1% every time you crit, which is not great. It's just not great at all. Also, a worthy mention is that crit damage is more effective when you have a higher base damage. If you combine this with headshot damage as well, you can increase the multipliers drastically. Your damage output increases so much when you combine these that it's not worth tunnel visioning too much just on crit damage and chance. I hope this video has been helpful for those of you looking to get a decent crit build going. If you are wondering how firearms works, you can check that out in one of our other videos. <clears throat> also, we have been working on new content, such as Overwatch and the upcoming Lord of the Rings game, Shadow of War. If you are interested, feel free to stick around. A rating would be very much appreciated, and if you have any questions, drop those in the comment section down below, and we or other viewers are, will be very likely to help you out. And good luck farming agents, and I hope to see you guys.